Oregon legislators will soon vote on a new congressional map for Oregon. The Oregon Constitution requires the state to look at redistricting every 10 years. What we are doing here is to draw districts that uh, and the representatives or the state senators, the U.S. Congress people who represent those districts will be there for the next 10 years. So it's really important work. It's a fundamental to democracy. Legislators were expected to vote on the map July 1st, but census results were delayed due to the pandemic. Ideally, the map needs bipartisan support. And the question really now is, can we come together around an agreement on those maps? Again, if we don't, then the drawing of the maps will go to different venues. If a decision on the map isn't made by September 27th, then Secretary of State Shamia Fagan will draw the maps for the House and Senate districts. A panel of Oregon judges would draw maps for the congressional districts. You're not supposed to look at partisan splits. You're supposed to look at communities of common interest. And I believe that party was definitely considered when this map was drawn. Medford Republican Representative Kim Wallen says a majority of Oregonians are unaffiliated voters. She believes the Democrats map doesn't represent them. I think there needs to be quite a bit of additional discussion about it. There has been a lot of testimony. I don't believe that that map is responsive to that testimony that has been gathered from around the, the state. Um, I. I think there are a lot of problems with the map. Ashland Democratic Representative Pam Marsh thinks differently. She says 22 public hearings were held and over 2,000 comments were filed for the redistricting map drafts, which Republicans and Democrats each submitted. I'm pretty positively impressed by those maps. I think they've done a good job of trying to draw like communities together. 